Welcome in for another edition of the UTEP Coaches Show. I'm joined by UTEP Head Coach Joe Golding. Coach, thanks so much for joining us here today. Yeah, appreciate you, you having me. Of course. It's been a rough couple of weeks, to say the least. I mean, four straight losses. That's the most uh, consecutive losses for you in your era mm -hmm. uh, as UTEP Head Coach. What's the mood been like around practice? Yeah, it's been tough, right? Um, it's it's we've, we've gone through a tough stretch. You know, you had the Florida Atlanta game here and then three, three games on the road at three... Uh, really tough places to play and three really really good teams and so uh, we've battled um, you know it's not like we're getting our butt kicked by 25 or 30 points uh, that's probably the most frustrating you almost probably maybe want to get your butt kicked to be honest with you but these guys are continuing to fight they're playing hard uh, we're giving ourselves a chance to win uh, we're just not winning games you know and it's uh, you know one night it's the turnovers one night it might be the free throws one night you know and, and, and but the end of the day as a head coach you got to take complete responsibility for it uh, it's our team it's my team and we just got to keep trying to find ways to win a game and keep getting them to play hard and play together we just we got we got to you know get across the finish line you mentioned getting your your head across the line i mean how do you go about doing that in this next bit of a stretch yeah, that's a great question right if you have the answer let me know you know but i'll, I'll, I'll but try yeah try. i'll do my best yeah, no, yeah. no basketball coach over here but i'll, I'll try <laughs> I think too, it's just it's just keeping these guys together, right? You have a tendency when you lose to get splintered, uh, to get different messages. We're getting close to the end of the year here. The grind is completely set in, um, and so. Uh, you know, you just got to keep this team together, right? You can't get splintered. It's kind of uh, told them the other day. It's kind of like my windshield. I got a crack in my windshield right now, right? And it's starting to run all the way across my uh, windshield. Um, but I still have my windshield, right? So we still have our windshield, but you don't want to get let, let these cracks start to come in where we get splintered. We want to keep this team together. I think that's our biggest challenge as a head coach and as a staff is to keep this team together, keep them playing hard. Um, and at the end of the day, March, it's a one bid league, and we're going to get one team in. So continue to try to get better as we get to March. I also have a crack in the windshield. What is it? Yeah, what's you going on? You can't get those fixed around here. No, I know. I, well, I don't want to pay to get it fixed. That's what I'm trying to. They're expensive. Yeah, I'm just hoping it stays and together. And glass is hard to get, right? I'm figuring yeah, that out. I'm yeah, I'm just hoping it stays together like you're hoping the team stays together. I appreciate Some that. Some good news is yeah. that you guys are back at home for the first time in a long while <coughs> coming up uh, on Thursday. I mean, how much of a boost is that going to bring to the team? Yeah, I think so, man. Like, we want to get back at home. We played well at home this year for the most part. Um, and I think our guys enjoy playing in front of our crowds. Our crowds have been really good. Um, so just the energy and the enthusiasm that the Dawn brings and then an opportunity to beat, uh, play Charlotte. If we beat Charlotte, we sweep Charlotte. You don't get the opportunity to sweep many teams. And Charlotte's like us, man. They were kind of sitting in the same spot. We're both fighting, and you get one or two wins. All of a sudden now you go from eighth or ninth to all of a sudden fourth or fifth or sixth, right? So there's a big jump when you win games. So uh, the game's important for both of us. Uh, they're going to come in here and play really good basketball. They played really good on the road here of late. Um, and so we're going to have to play our best basketball. But, yes, I think our guys will be excited to be home. Yeah, you mentioned having the chance to be able to sweep uh, Charlotte. That's because you got a win over them a couple weeks yep. ago. It was a close one, went down to the wire, but does that give you some confidence knowing that you have beat Yeah, I would them think already? so. Our guys remember that, right? And they, they remember finishing the game um, and, and winning at their place. And I think at that time, it was the only loss they had on their home floor. I think they've lost again to Florida Atlantic. But, um, you know, uh, at that time, they were undefeated at home. So it was a big win, a momentum uh, win for us. And we got to find those again, right? So all it takes is one win to kind of feel it and taste it again. And, and then hopefully we can get it rolling and, and, get, and get some consecutive wins. Consecutive wins are hard to find in this league. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us. UTEP looking to get back in the win column on Thursday when they host Charlotte at 7 p.m. at the Dome.